Our sun is waking up, and it could have devastating consequences for the internet, particularly in North America, if a black swan event like a solar superstorm occurs. As reported by SpaceWeather.com, a solar tsunami occurred on the surface of the sun last Thursday. A mass of charged solar particles hurtled towards us and were expected to arrive at Earth on Monday. It could be joined on Tuesday and Wednesday by the leftovers of a solar flare on Saturday to produce a G1-class geomagnetic storm. We know the Sun is getting more active as it enters a new solar cycle with some predicting it could be the strongest since records began. Earth will cope this time, but what about the 1.6% to 12% chance that a huge solar superstorm occurs? And we, and our internet, prepared for such an event? Like the coronavirus pandemic, apparently not. It's the subject of a new research published this week and presented at the SECOM 2021 Data Communication Conference. It doesn't make for easy reading. The report rates North America as one of the most vulnerable regions where an outage of the internet could last for months. With internet outages estimated to cost about $7.2 billion per day to the U.S. economy, that's surely worth preparing for, and mitigating. Of course, Earth does have defenses against solar flares, intense bursts of radiation that only threaten our planet when they happen on the side of the sun facing it. When solar flares come our way, Earth's magnetosphere accelerates the charged particles down its field lines to the poles. The result, of course, is an afterglow known as the aurora, the northern lights and southern lights. Coronal mass ejections CMEs, are different. Rare or huge eruptions on the sun caused by magnetic storms, they create huge clouds of plasma that could damage power grids if they drift our way. However, power grids are designed to mitigate the effect of CMEs. The internet is not. The networking community has largely overlooked this risk during the design of the network topology and geo-distributed systems such as DNS and data centers, reads the paper, which predicts large-scale internet outages covering the entire globe, and lasting several months. The problem, say the authors, are the undersea cables that are the invisible backbone of the internet. While the fiber optic cables under countries and cities wouldn't suffer, largely because they're shorter and grounded, the vast number of subsea links between continents are more vulnerable. CMEs produce geomagnetically induced currents, GIC, on the Earth's surface through electromagnetic induction, reads the paper. Based on the strength of the CME, in extreme cases, JIC has the potential to enter and damage long-distance cables that constitute the backbone of the Internet. Long-distance cables have repeaters to boost the optical signal spaced at intervals of 30 to 93 miles slash 50 to 150 kilometers, which are powered using a conductor. Do we know if they're resilient to solar superstorms? No, 